This video explains the correct way of installing Ulma polymer concrete drainage channels. You'll need to take the following aspects into account. The first aspect to take into consideration is the load class to be borne by the channels in accordance with standard EN 1433. In other words, the type of vehicle that will be running over the channels. The layout varies with the load class and pavement type. Three types of flooring are most commonly used. Concrete pavement, asphalt pavement, paving. Concrete pavement. In this case, the most important thing to remember is that an expansion joint must always be installed between the concrete bedding surrounding the channel and the concrete pavement. Asphalt pavement. On asphalt pavement, if the load class is A15 or B125, the concrete bedding does not have to be installed as far as the upper edge of the channels. When the load class is C250 or greater, the concrete bedding must be installed as far as the upper edge of the channel. Paving. With paving, there are three options depending on the load class. Load class A15. It's not compulsory for the concrete bedding to be installed up to the upper edge of the channel. Load class B125. The first paving row must be secured with epoxy mortar to ensure adherence. Load class C250. The concrete block must be installed up to the upper edge of the channel. The process of installing the drainage channel is very simple. And the most important aspect for correct installation is the expansion joint, which must be placed between the concrete bedding and the concrete pavement. It is important to keep a distance of between 3 and 5 millimeters from the grating to the surface of the pavement for channels with and without a profile. For channels with no metal profile on the upper edge, it is necessary to leave enough space for the grating to fit in. Depending on the load class of the channel, the dimensions of the concrete bedding vary. You can check all the dimensions and installation details on our website. If a compacting process needs to be carried out in the vicinity of the channel, particular care should be taken not to damage the edge of the channel. We recommend that contraction joints should be aligned with the joints between channels. Ulma Architectural Solutions. Solutions for all drainage needs.